A point charge Q1 is equal to 4 nano coulomb is located on the x axis at x is equal to 2 meter and a second point charge Q2 is equal to minus 6 nano coulomb is on the y axis at y is equal to 1 meter. What is the total electric flux due to these two point charges through a spherical surface centered at the origin and with radius A is equal to 0 0.5 meter, B is equal to 1.5 meter and C is equal to 2.5 meter. Given the values, charge Q1 is equal to Four nano coulomb. One nano coulomb is equal to ten to the power of minus nine coulombs. So, four into ten to the power of minus nine coulomb. And the Q one is placed at the x-axis. X is equal to two meters. And another point charge Q two is equal to minus six nano coulombs. That is equal to minus 6 into 10 to the power of minus 9 coulomb and the q2 is placed at the y axis y is equal to 1 meter first of all we can calculate the the electric flux through these charges so we can calculate the the electric flux at the surface 0 0.5 meter so the electric flux is gives to the the flux phi is equal to according to the gauss law the flux phi is equal to the total charge or to charge enclosed by epsilon naught this gives to the the flux where enclosed charge is the the total charge in the surface so first of all we draw the figure we draw the figure let us take some x axis and y axis some x axis and y axis this is the y axis and this one is the x axis this one is the x axis x axis and y axis this is the origin the charge q2 is equal to placed at the x axis this is the charge q2 uh, charge q1 the charge q1 is placed at the x is equal to 2 meters and another charge q2 is placed at the placed on the y axis this is the y axis q2 so first of all the electric flux through the 0 0.5 meters let us a 0 0.5 meters where where 0 0.5 meter is the point r is equal to 0 0.5 meters so let us consider we assume that the one gaussian surface of radius 0 0.5 meters so draw the figure let us take the radius of the gaussian surface r is equal to 0 0.5 meters so let us consider this is the gaussian surface of radius 0 0.5 meters 0 0.5 meters this is the one gaussian surface the radius of the Gaussian surface is the 0 0.5 meters. So, this is the R1. R1 is equal to 0 0.5 meters. So, in this Gaussian surface, the charge enclosed in the surface is 0 because in the Gaussian surface, no charge inside the surface. So, the charge inclined the surface is Q inclined is equal to 0 because in the Gaussian surface no charge inside the surface so the total charge Q inclined is equal to 0 so the electric flux in the surface is phi 
zero point five is equal to the flux at the zero point five meters is equal to the charge inclined the surface is the Q inclined is zero zero by epsilon naught. So the flux inclined the Gaussian surface at a zero point five meter is zero. That is equal to five zero point five is equal to zero. This is the flux at the surface zero point five meters from the origin. So and another one considered the B the Gaussian surface R two is equal to one point five meters. This is the let us consider another Gaussian surface. The radius of the Gaussian surface is the one point five meters. So let us assume that the one Gaussian surface. Let us assume that the one Gaussian surface. The Gaussian surface of radius is the one point five meters. This is the one Gaussian surface. The Gaussian surface of the radius is the. This is the Gaussian surface. The Gaussian surface of the radius is the R two. Where R two is equal one point five meters of radius. So let us consider the total charge inclined in the Gaussian surface is the total charge inclined in the Gaussian surface is the Q in Q inclined is equal to Q two because in the Gaussian surface the total charge inside the surface is the Q two only. So the total charge inclined in the Gaussian surface is Q inclined is equal to Q two. So the electric flux in the gaussian surface is phi 1.5 meters is equal to the flux at the distance of 1.5 meters from the origin phi 1.5 is equal to the charge inclined by epsilon naught the charge inclined is the q2 q2 by epsilon naught so the flux at the 1.5 meters is equal to phi At one point five is equal to the charge inclined the surface is the Q two where Q two is equal to minus six into ten to the power of minus nine Coulomb whole by epsilon naught where epsilon naught is the eight point eight five into ten to the power of minus twelve Coulomb square by Newton meter square. The flux at the surface 1.5 is the phi at 1.5 is equal to minus of six seven eight newton meter square per coulomb. This is the flux at the 1.5 meters from the origin. So part C. Let us consider the radius of the Gaussian surface. R three is equal to two point five meters. We can calculate the the electric flux at the surface of radius two point five meters. So let us draw the figure. One figure. The radius of the Gaussian surface is the two point five meters. Let us assume the one Gaussian surface. This is the Gaussian surface. In this Gaussian surface. We can calculate the electric flux through the surface. So the radius is the R three. This is the R three. R three is equal to two point five meters. The total charge inclined in the Gaussian surface is the the total charge inclined in the Gaussian surface is the Q inclined. Q inclined is equal to in this surface the total charge is the one is the Q one and another one is the Q two. So Q inclined is equal to Q one plus Q two, the total charge inside the surface. So the Q inclined is equal to Q one plus Q two, that is equal to Q one is the four into ten to the power of minus nine coulombs. Q two is the minus six into ten to the power of minus nine coulombs. So Q inclined is equal to minus two into ten to the power of minus nine 
coulomb so the flux through the surface 2.5 cm from the origin is phi 2.5 the flux at the 2.5 is equal to the total charge is the total charge is the clue inclined is the q1 plus q2 by epsilon naught so from this equation the total charge at the surface phi 2.5 is equal to q1 plus q2 is the minus 2 into 10 to the power of minus 9 coulomb whole by the value of the epsilon naught is the 8.85 into 10 to the power of minus 12 coulomb square by newton meter square so the flux is the flux through the surface at the surface 2.5 is equal to the flux at the surface 2.5 centimeters from the origin is minus 226 newton meter square per coulomb this is the electric flux at the surface 2.5 meters from the origin 